Blue Folder – Creating a New Work Order Work orders can be created in many different fashions within Blue Folder. For a few examples, you can create a new work order by going to the Customer List and using the New Work Order icon to the far right. You can also drill down into the Customer Profile and click on the New Work Order link here. You can also create new work orders from the Calendar. Select your Calendar view, decide if it's an individual or team view, find the day and the user, click on that block, indicate the description of the work order, the time and date, the customer, and create the new scheduled work order. This example, we're going to simply hover over the work order tab and create a new work order. The first step is to enter a description. Next, we'll need to choose a customer. If the customer isn't already within our blue folder customer list, you can create a new customer, new location, new contact from the links on the right. Once we've found the customer, we then just want to validate with them which location we'll be going to and which contact we need to follow up with on site. Next, we may want to enter more information about this work order so we can further help the customer as well as inform our technician. Next, if you track and service equipment on behalf of your customer, we can indicate what equipment is affected to again further inform our technician as well as keep track of the service we provide on this equipment. Next, simply decide is this a billable work order, a not billable work order, or should we apply it to a contract? By default, all work orders will be billed to the customer's default billing address. In this case, if we weren't billing the default address, you could simply just click down and decide to we bill a different customer within your blue folder customer list or an address that was entered manually. If you track POs or were given a PO by your customer for this work, enter the PO number and click Save. Before I go on, I do want to let you know that there are options that you can turn on and off for the work order within Blue Folder. By going to Settings, General Settings, and then Work Orders, you'll see all the options to include the vocabulary, the labor intervals, the built-in fields that you can turn on and off and also make required. You can add custom fields to the work order. You can add individuals to be related to and notified on work orders. And you can set how individuals can add comments and what the defaults are for comments. Last is the workflow within Blue Folder. This allows you to indicate when you're scheduling a new scheduled assignment, do you want to default it for the next day, same day, or a few days in the future? And at what time would you like to default those scheduled assignments? Last but not least, you can have Blue Folder change the status automatically to work orders based on creation of assignments and completion of assignments. Let's go back to our work order and we'll schedule it out. To get to the work order we just created, I'm simply going to hover over our work order tab and go to our recently viewed work order. Work order 2113 is the one we created. You'll notice on the right hand side of the work order, the status is open and new and it has not been assigned. So let's go ahead and assign it. Once we get to the assignment, we have to make a few decisions. Is this a scheduled or an unscheduled assignment? In this case, we need to go out to see the customer. We'll keep it as scheduled. If we know the date and time we want our tech to show up on site, we can simply add the date and time here. In this case, our default technician has been assigned to this call. We can view his schedule and pick a date and time to send the default technician or let's pretend the default technician was booked. We need to find another user. So we'll click on find available person which will bring up our availability grid. In this case we can see who's available and who's not. We'll go ahead and book this job for Seth at 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Below we can add any assignment comments that will further help our technician with this work order. This assignment comment will be emailed to the technician as well as texted depending on notification preferences. In addition, we can see that the customer is going to be notified of this new assignment that we've created. Next, simply click Save and the assignment has been created. Again, looking at the right hand side of the work order, we can see our imposed workflow has changed the status from Open New to Assigned and we see an assignment for Seth for the July 2nd between 5 and 8 p.m. Notifications have been sent out to the customer and to the technician in this case and the work order can be printed and handed to your technician or they can access it through logging into Blue Folder. 
Congratulations, you've just created your first work order with Blue Folder. For questions and help, please contact Blue Folder or visit us at www.bluefolder.com.